In this video, we're going to talk about a relatively new peptide called ModSC. We discuss what ModSC is proposed to do and how it might help patients. And then I want to look at a study examining its potential role in improving fitness and athletic performance. My name is Dr. David Geyer, double board certified orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and media medical expert. I help you feel and perform your best regardless of age, injury, or medical history. Please understand, please remember in this video, in all my videos and live streams on this channel, I'm not giving you medical advice. This is meant for general information and educational purposes only. So what is ModSC? Well, this is a mitochondrial peptide. The mitochondria are responsible for cellular energy production. You probably remember from high school biology class, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, but it's involved in cellular energy production, as well as communication within the cell and communication with other cells. Now, our bodies and our mitochondria make peptides. And we've talked about peptides before. They're short chains of amino acids naturally made in our body. There've been about 7,000 peptides that have been identified. Well, there are mitochondrial derived peptides, including ModSC. Now, where ModSC is getting a lot of attention is in the world of weight loss. That's by far where it's gotten the most attention. As far back as 2015, there was research, research that showed that mod SC treatment in mice prevented age-related or age-dependent uh, weight gain, uh, insulin resistance, and obesity. Also, obesity and insulin resistance caused by a high-fat diet. Uh, so it's thought to be very good for reducing insulin resistance and possibly obesity. That's been shown in mice, and so it's gotten a lot of attention in the human world. But what interests me more than weight loss, although that's a great potential use for this peptide, is more because of its theoretical role in improving fitness and athletic performance. So I want to talk about a study from 2021 looking at mod SC for improving physical performance, not just with aging, but at any age. So researchers at the University of Southern California, along with researchers in Australia, looked at mod SC function. And again, this was in mice, but that correlates very well to humans because you can get them at different ages, but they go through lifespan much quicker. That's why mouse studies are really popular. But they looked at young mice, which are two month old mice, middle-aged mice, which are 12-month-old mice, and older mice, which are 22 months old, to see what effect mod SC had. What they found is that mod SC significantly increased, the amounts of mod SC found in the bodies of these mice significantly increased during exercise. Uh, and then it returned to baseline after four hours. So just from a treatment standpoint, know that when you go out and exercise, that is improving your mod SC level. That the exercise that you're doing basically induces uh, expression of mitochondrial um, or genes that regulate mitochondrial peptide creation in humans. But let's go back to what effect mod SC had. They put these young mice on a treadmill running test and they showed that mod SC improved their physical performance. The ones on the higher doses of mod SC significantly superior running capacity and power output. Endurance was better. Speed was dramatically better. Also, it caused uh, basically less fat gain uh, than the, uh, and improved muscle mass, lean muscle mass in the young mice. So yes, it had the performance benefits, but also some of the body composition benefits. Mod SC improved physical performance by improving whole body energy metabolism. It promoted adaptive responses to the stress from the exercise, the metabolic imbalances, heat shock occurring within the muscle, but it was very, very good, especially over a longer period of time at improving physical performance. Performance. Now, looking at mod SC for older mice, because we've talked about this in a number of different ways, aging is one of the things we see with aging is we lose our mitochondria and we get decline in mitochondrial function, which causes a loss of our ability to maintain metabolic, what we call homeostasis. And mod SC may play a role in that. Aging has been shown to lead to less naturally produced mod SC in our tissues, like the skeletal muscle, and less mod SC in our blood. So in this study, they took the middle-aged mice, the older mice, treated them every day for two weeks with mod SC, and then again, put them on a uh, treadmill running test. Both the middle age and the old, uh, older mice were able to run significantly longer with more power 
once they did the Mod SC treatment. The, the older mice ran longer and farther. Mod SC enabled 17% of them to actually get to the highest speeds at that last stage where none of the mice that didn't get the Mod SC were able to run at that speed. So Mod SC enabled older mice to outperform middle-aged mice that didn't get the Mod SC. That suggests that there's a much larger pervasive physical reprogramming going on than just making the mice younger. And then last, they wanted to see if Mod SC had benefits for the mice that were basically about to die, the end of life mice, 24 months old. Uh, and what they basically found is Mod SC three times a week improved lifespan. Basically to do that, they took the, the mice another uh, six months, got them to 30 months or so on average, put them through all these physical tests to look at a age-related physical decline. They had improved grip strength, uh, improved stride length, improved overall physical performance as assessed by uh, a walking test because by 30 months, these mice couldn't run anymore. Now, this matters because reduced stride length and walking capacity are strongly linked to mor morbidity and mortality in humans. But what they found is that Mod SC improved the physical capacity in older mice, it improved their overall physical capacity, and seem to compress their morbidity, increasing their health span. Mitochondria significantly involved in the aging process at multiple levels. Mod SC might contribute to longevity by promoting mitochondrial and cellular homeostasis. Now there's a couple things to think about. Again, this is a mice, a mice, a mouse study, not a human study. So we need more studies on this in humans. Now, like most peptides, Mod SC is not currently FDA approved. Again, I'm not giving you medical advice. I just want to tell you about it in case you hear about it somewhere else. Uh, it's still considered experimental. It's not to say there aren't doctors that are prescribing this for patients, again, usually for weight loss, but just know it's not FDA approved. Uh, it's not considered standard of care for any particular uh, problem. Also, like I say with any peptides, don't buy these from websites online. They are thought to be very dangerous. You just don't know if they have any peptides in them or what's in them because these pharmacies, labs, wherever these are, they're not being uh, regulated or approved, not being screened and tested and all this kind of stuff. They've been shown to have endotoxins and other contaminants that can be really dangerous. So talk to your doctor to see if Mod SC might be right for you and if he or she would consider prescribing it for you. Again, not medical advice. I'm just giving you all this information. If you'd like to read the studies uh, that I talked about in this video, they should be listed in the description below. If you like videos like this and you want more information on health and wellness and aging and exercise and injuries, orthopedic injuries, whatever it is, so you can feel and perform your best regardless of age, injury, or medical condition. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell to be notified when I'm online, either it's as a live stream or I release new videos. If you have an orthopedic injury and you'd like to see somebody that can really talk to you about all your options, not just surgery and cortisone shots and physical therapy, I would love to help. I'm a double board certified orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, and I'll talk to you about all your options. Go to my website, it's, it's in the description below, drdavidgeyer.com. In the upper right corner of the page, you'll see a work with me button. You can drop that down and fill out the contact page to learn how to request an appointment or find other ways to work with me. Again, that's drdavidgeyer.com. The link is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I look forward to helping you feel and perform better than ever.